for your hard work. Nashville now home to a first of its kind transportation test bed of sorts, allowing researchers to see how technology impacts rush hour traffic. And the first experiments happening right now along I-24 between Antioch and the Rutherford County line and our traffic anchor Rebecca Schleicher going in depth on this new project. As you can see live from high above in Sky 5. So Rebecca, over the past several months or so, drivers have noticed extra cameras and signs going up there on along I-24. What, between Murfreesboro and South Nashville, is that right? Yeah, Ben, people have definitely noticed it. It's part of TDOT and I-24 Smart Corridor. And that is allowing researchers to actually take things one step further in a small section of it. Right now, we're flying over the staging area for this experiment. You can see all the cars that are involved. We've seen the volunteer drivers coming and going as they make their rounds. And just outside of this is that four mile section in Antioch that is now an active research test bed. 276 4K cameras are mounted on poles that stretch north of Bell Road to south of Old Hickory Boulevard. They're tracking the flow of traffic and how it responds to a new variable in the mix. We could call it an MRI for traffic because you can see into vehicle by vehicle, lane by lane, what how the traffic is reacting to whatever stimulus you put in there, you know, a, a autonomous vehicle, a connected vehicle, a new traffic control strategy. There's nothing like this anywhere in the world, and TDOT says the applications are endless. They expect researchers, car makers, and others to travel to Nashville to test and collect data on our roads. Here's a look at that first live experiment happening right now. It includes 100 cars with volunteer drivers. They are equipped with adaptive cruise control to try to help smooth that stop and go traffic that appears seemingly out of nowhere. To try to, to uh, address that phantom traffic jam. Everybody sees those brake lights go on in front of them and don't know why. Well, this technology and this test will be able to help us figure out why and also figure out if this adaptive cruise control and other sensing will help to smooth traffic. And you may have adaptive cruise control in your car already, but these cars also have an AI component that allows them to communicate with each other. Researchers plan to present initial findings on whether or not it worked as early as tomorrow. Cole, it is fascinating. The future is here and it's in Nashville.